So now that we got our box all set up together, make sure that it's going perpendicular to our base so that our right angles are nice and neat. So now what we can do is drill using our pre-drilled holes as a guidance. Make sure you got the drill bit. And using our pre-drilled holes as a guidance, we can just drill right through. And again, makes it much more easier having them pre-drilled so it just goes straight through into adjacent wood. So now what we can do, we can continue this along all four corners and then we'll be ready to screw it all together. So that's our last hole drilled and we've, pre -drilled, we've drilled every corner. So now what we can do, we can change it from the drill bit into our screw bit and grab our screws along. So as we're changing, make sure that our screw bit is a nice tight fit onto our countersink screws. Otherwise, when you're applying pressure onto it, it will keep jumping around and ruin the screw as well as your screw bit. So now we just place the screw into the hole and make sure everything's good and drill it. Like that. We don't want to make it jump like that. So we're making it too low, low here, and we continue screwing every corner. So as we go on, there we go. And now we continue this along all corners, and our, our structure will be complete. So now that we've got our frame all together, there we go, it's perfect. We want to put our base on top or underneath, doesn't matter because the frame is all the same and we want to screw our base onto the frame. So now, make sure there's nothing in the box. Now, what I'm going to do is actually just flip it all together like so. Make sure it doesn't actually get damaged. And place the base on the top. Make sure all the corners are succinct, all perfect. So now what we want to do is grab our drill. We want to grab our drill. Get our screws. We don't actually need our screws, but we need to get our drill bit. And what we can do is we don't need to necessarily mark our lines, but make sure, make sure that you're drilling within one centimeter so it goes straight into the adjacent board. So we can just do this now, make sure it's in high again, high gear. Let me just there we and maybe do two, three screws on each side. So one, two, three, and one, and maybe one, two on the side. So we save some screws because it doesn't need that much of a um, holding. Five or up to ten screws would be enough. What we can do after that is make a count sink hole. As you see, it's nice and flush. Our screws are nice and flush. And that will make it perfect for underneath. 